good morning students today we are going to discuss about uh, drops and uh, bubbles drops and bubbles see one consequence of surface tension is that free liquid drops and bubbles uh, see here drops and uh, bubbles are in spherical shape are in spherical shape uh, because of surface tension because of surface tension okay for a given volume for a given volume because of the surface tension the surface tries to occupies occupies lesser surface area so for a given volume the surface with the minimum energy minimum energy is the one with the least surface area with the least uh, surface area in all three dimension shape the sphere has a least surface area so that liquid drops and bubbles tries to occupy spherical shape now another interesting consequence of surface tension is that pressure inside the spherical pressure inside a spherical drop is a greater than the pressure outside is greater than the pressure outside suppose uh, suppose a spherical drop of a radius a spherical drop of radius r is in equilibrium is in equilibrium and uh, increase in radius b increase in radius of the drop increase in radius because of pressure difference because of pressure difference is given by pressure difference is delta r okay so uh, initial initial surface energy initial surface energy is energy is nothing but surface tension into area surface tension is nothing but uh, energy per unit area into area is nothing but we will get surface energy so surface tension into initial area is nothing but 4 pi r square area of this sphere is 4 pi r square and final surface energy that is here because of pressure difference we consider the increase in radius is nothing but delta r so final surface energy is s into 4 pi final radius is r plus delta r whole square so that is s into 4 pi r square plus 4 pi delta r square plus 4 pi into 2 r delta r i am writing like this i am applying just a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2 a b 2 into r into delta r okay this is final surface energy now increase in energy increase in energy or extra surface energy 
or extra surface energy is given by final energy minus initial energy so here increase in energy surface energy is nothing but s into mm, 4 pi r square i am neglecting higher order terms of delta r delta r square because delta r is small delta r square is still small so we can neglect this term so 4 pi r square into 4 pi into 2 is nothing but 8 pi 8 pi r delta r minus initial surface energy is s into 4 pi r square s into 4 pi r square so here we will get s into 4 pi r square uh, plus s into 8 pi r delta r minus s into 4 pi r square this is nothing but extra energy extra energy so extra energy is equal to this much this and this get cancels so extra energy is nothing but s into 8 pi r delta r let us consider this is the equation number one now because of the pressure difference there is an increase in volume increase in surface energy see here consider this is a drop and this is all water drop let us consider this is a water drop Pre pressure inside is nothing but pi and pressure outside is nothing but p naught pressure outside is p zero and uh, consider this radius is r this radius is r okay and because uh, inside pressure is greater than outside pressure there is a increase in radius so pressure difference is doing work on the surface area of the bubble so work is being done by the pressure here so work done by pressure difference work done by pressure difference is given by so work done equal to force into force into displacement force into displacement so here force uh, is nothing but pressure difference into area pressure difference into area is nothing but force into displacement is nothing but work done so here pressure difference is nothing but pi minus p naught as inside pressure is greater than outside pressure i am taking pressure difference as pi minus p naught into area of the bubble is 4 pi r square into displacement is delta r so let us consider it is equation number one number two because of this work done only there is a increase in energy of the drop so i am equating equation number one and two so from equations one and two from equations one and two uh, because of the work done only there is a increase in energy of the drop so pressure difference into 4 pi r square into delta r must be equal to s into surface tension into 8 pi r delta r so here uh, pi and 1 pi get cancels 4 1 ja 4 2 ja 8 <clears throat> and uh, this r and r get cancels and this uh, delta r and this delta r get cancels now the remaining thing is pi minus p naught into r is equal to 2s is there 2s so pressure difference is equal to pressure difference is equal to 2s by r we are going to discuss a about soap bubble in the case of soap bubble we see there are two interfaces we see there are two interfaces like this like this so 
there exist a two interfaces here and pressure inside the soap bubble is pi and pressure outside is p naught and radius is nothing but r as there are two interfaces in the case of soap bubble so in this case in the case of uh, soap bubble pressure difference pi minus p naught equal to as there are two interfaces we will get 2 into 2s by r that is nothing but 4s by r pressure difference in the case of soap bubble is 4s by r right now i am going to discuss about capillary rise capillary rise You know, because of the pressure difference, because of pressure difference, pressure difference, there is a raise in the liquid level, raise in the liquid level of narrow sized narrow sized tube this phenomenon this phenomenon is called capillarity this phenomenon is called capillarity okay so to see this to see this uh, consider a vertical capillary tube vertical capillary tube with cross section area with cross section with cross section area or radius a inserted into inserted into an open vessel open vessel of water 